Hi, my name is Richard Harbridge. I'm a Microsoft MVP and uh, I work as the CTO of Tutalead. And I thought it would be great if I could share another announcement that's actually a big deal. It's now in the public space. Uh, as of this month in July 2022, you are able to use shared channels. Tutalead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world-class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace? Shared channels has been something Microsoft's worked on for quite a while. We've been working with many customers for a long time on this, and it's been a wonderful journey because it's made a big difference in a lot of customer environments. The information architecture patterns we've used for Teams have changed uh, for the better. Employee experiences are better with these shared channels. In a nutshell, what it enables us to do is to share across Teams within one tenant. So let's say you wanted to share a particular subset of documents or um, discussion across multiple teams. Well, you can do that with shared channels. Another thing that's great about these shared channels is it clearly labels the people both externally in them as well as the channel itself, noting that it's much easier to understand from both a governance and a digital excellence perspective how and when we're supposed to use these. It's also really exciting because these shared channels have a lot more going for them beyond the internal uses of them. They're really great for external use as well across tenants. If you've ever had to work on teams with a client or a partner, you often have to switch your actual tenant, meaning you can no longer be in a team meeting with your own colleagues, or you may not be able to see um, content within your uh, tenant. That means you know your organization. You have to switch to their organizational context. And that was a really big blocker, not just for adoption, but from a user experience perspective. That is no longer the case now that we have shared channels. What's more is these shared channels are quite intuitive to use. So if you own a few teams, as an example, and you want to create a shared membership across those teams to share files and things like that, you can actually very easily do that. Because when you go and go to share a shared channel, it actually defaults to things like, oh, what about the teams you own, as an example? Not that you can't add other teams, but it's a great way to start. So shared channels are a really big deal. They make things a lot better. If you're not familiar with Microsoft Teams um, or these sort of patterns, the big thing to think about is historically, what we'd have to do is we'd have Project A and Project B. And if we want to share something between Project A and Project B, we would create a Project A, B team. And that would create more sprawl. That would create more challenges. Now with shared channels, we can have a Project A, B or some other name for it that's probably better, a uh, sort of shared channel that's shared and distributed across those teams. So a really big win. It's not just about, you know, uh, the first experience that you think of as files and posts and sort of the channel conversations. It's also very important to think about this little plus button and how apps and pinned resources uh, can be very valuable across teams where you might define them once, right, within a collection, a shared channel, and then reuse them essentially as a, uh, you know, a location within other teams to get access to resources, apps, experiences that might be relevant to them. So there's a lot more coming as more and more organizations uh, take full advantage of Microsoft Teams as an app platform. But um, you know, if you're just getting started, uh, be excited because uh, Teams just got a lot easier uh, and a lot more uh, effective for the employee experience. And yes, there are some governance challenges and things like that on the back end, but that's why there's wonderful resources that help you understand how to manage team sprawl like m365sprawl.com and other uh, ebooks and resources that help you guide through that. So you're not alone, um, and uh, I hope you're as excited as we are about the fact that every one of our customers, as well as partners, can now fully utilize shared channels. Bye for now. Thank you.